Do you want to own a home? It's the American dream. Now, the problem is no one knows how to accomplish that dream. So I'm going to provide you with six steps to prepare you so that you can be a homeowner one day. Step one, you have to be 18 years old. Have you accomplished that? Is that exciting? That's the number one step, 18 years old. Step two, you don't need 20% down. It amazes me when statistics come out at how many people think you need 20% down. So they wait years trying to build up that down payment with very little hopes of ever getting that much money in hand. So let's go back to step one. You're 18, you don't need 20% down. You can buy a home sooner than you think. Step three, you have to have the ability to repay the loan. If you have a job or are an entrepreneur and are earning money on a regular basis, you could be a homeowner. Now, a lot of times they require two years of income. So let's go back to step one, being 18 years old. If you started a business when you were 16 and you have two years of history, say mowing lawns and having a regular clientele, you could be ahead of the game and buy a home at age 18. But let's look at step number four, documentation. So you started the business at 16. Now, you might have taken that money, put it into your pocket, and spent it. Mm -mm -mm. We need the documentation. So hopefully, you have documentation of a regular income from your clientele that you mowed their lawn every week for two years or different clients over that time. But if you're earning a set amount of money on a regular basis, that will count towards income and your ability to repay the loan. Let's look at number five. You need to have credit. The best way is to have a secured credit card that you make regular payments on time and have a history of having that credit. So for example, you get a credit card, you put $500 down, it's secured with your own money, but then you pay your monthly cell phone bill, $100 a month automatically. Well, without any late payments, you're building credit and eventually the credit card company won't require that it be secured and they will provide you with a line of credit. You could also become an authorized user on your parents' account, and hopefully they have great credit, no late payments, and that provides you with the ability to show that you are not a risk and have a good credit score that's built up over time. Number six, you're not buying your dream home. If you were to go out and rent an apartment or a home, would that be a place that you expect to be for the next 20, 30 years? No, this is a stepping stone. And buying a home should be that stepping stone for you to build generational wealth and provide you with equity for the future. So just like getting a rent, you need first month, last month, and a security deposit, that could be enough money for you to buy a condo or an apartment or a home of your own. It's not going to be your dream home. It's not going to be your forever home. It's going to be a stepping stone to generational wealth. So those are the first six steps of home buying. And I bet you had no idea it would be that easy. Once you talk to a mortgage loan professional, such as myself, 
Ruth at Nexa Mortgage, then you can get more into the details of how to actually do it. But these are the first steps so that you know someday you can become a homeowner.